To start tracking labor costs in Noify, you'll want to go to your admin section and make sure that you have rates set for any resources that will be tracking time. Under the Rates and Resources tab, you'll see a list of all of your resources. You'll be able to define what their base rate of pay is and if the employee is paid annually or by the hour. If you select per year, then Noify will calculate an hourly rate to use for job costing even though they're not paid by the hour. Once the base rate is entered, you'll have the option of filling in other information such as benefits, taxes, insurance, union wages, and then an other field for the sake of entering anything that goes into the cost of this employee to your company that might not be covered in the columns behind it. Once all of this is filled out, the cost per hour, the final column, is what's going to be added to the cost of the job whenever this employee logs time. Once all of your rates are set for all of your resources, you can track time simply by opening up a project plan and selecting where it says enter time on one of the phases of the job. This will pull up a list of all of the different resources in your account and allow you to enter in how much time an employee spent on a job on each day. We'll enter one hour here and in the review time section we can see the total cost that's incurred on the job based off of the rate we set up in the admin section. Then, if we're to open up the project that we added the time to, we'll see an increase in labor cost to date and it'll show us what phase of the job this time has been tracked against. For more functionality around time, you can open up the Time Tracker module from the home page. This will pull you in to the overview section of your time tracker where you can see how many hours each employee has logged on each day. You can add more time from here by clicking where it says enter time at the top of the screen. It'll default to your own resource as who you're entering time for, but you can change this if you have foreman privileges. Then select the day that you'd like to enter the hours for, enter in how many hours you want to track, and you can write in the description of the work that was done that day. Once you save and submit, these hours will go in for review. If you need to track time to a job that's not showing in the activity, you can click where it says add new activity, type in the name of the job, and select a phase. This will add it to the list, so you have new days that you can select from and enter hours against. And once the time has been saved and submitted, it will automatically update the cost of the job just like the entry shown earlier. You can also enter time using the foreman view. If we open up the foreman view, instead of selecting an employee and then pulling up different jobs that they worked on, you can select a job and it'll have a list of all of your employees or resources so you can key in how many hours they worked on each day of the week. The check in and check out view allows you to enter time not as a lump sum, but as a time in and a time out. This also helps for users who are checking in via the mobile app if they forget to check in during the day. You can start their check-in from inside the web app and when they check their mobile it will automatically show that they've started their time for the day. This also gives you the ability to manually enter a time entry that has a start and end time in case they completely forgot to use the app one day and you have the ability to still have the time they arrived and the time they left. All of these submitted entries will still go to the review time section and this is where you'll be able to split time into straight, over, and double time for the sake of job costing. You'll see that some of these entries will be marked as overtime candidates, and if you select the button, it'll automatically split into what Noify believes should be the straight and overtime for that day. It'll adjust the job costing and show up correctly on reports moving forward. You also have the ability to delete and adjust entries from here. To delete an entry, select the box on the left and then choose Delete under More Actions. And if you need to make any adjustments to any of these time entries, you can click the Edit button to the right hand side of that entry and change things like the number of hours, the cost of the entry, or what job that this was allocated against. Once this is adjusted, it will automatically update the labor cost to date of that project. And once you're content with the information in this screen, you can quickly approve all entries at once and all approved time will sync into your QuickBooks account to the weekly timesheet.